Hello, this is Aaron Dominion, and welcome to the Creation Kit scripting series, Papyrus Tutorials. Uh, this episode is Hello World. What will be covered today, uh, what should you have running while you are scripting, just to do a simple, oh hey, this is what you should have while you're in this mindset, and add Hello World message box to the game. Alright, so what should you have running? The Creation Kit, Notepad++, an internet browser, uh, just so you have the creation kit wiki open. And then your Skyrim data script source folder, as I gave you a quick little uh, folder schema right there. <laughs> and now let's get started on the Hello World script. So, I've already opened up a few things. Here's the creation kit wiki, multiple pages. And here's Notepad++, not with the script we're going to do. And here's the Creation Kit wiki with my little uh, ideas testing mod loaded. So you should load up your own mod, uh, name it with whatever acronym you normally use. And then let's go to cells. Do this, create a new cell. Uh, hello world cell. Okay. Now let's go to the interior data. Sorry, I was just checking. Uh, hello world cell. We'll just do that because it doesn't matter what name we give it. Then go to this cell. Um, let's go to your containers, why not? And here we have a bunch of uh, items that we can use. Let's see. You know, I'm going to duplicate an item, an empty item, just so we can use it for the Hello World script. Okay. You don't have to do this, but I'm just doing this so it's compatible with everything in Skyrim. Compatibility is important with your mods. Okay, now click on your object, go to the add script in the scripts tab. Any warnings just say yes to all that pop up. Then you want to click new script. And now you typically want to do your mod acronyms, in this case AG, AJD for my for the mod author name, and then PR because playroom. Okay then hello world, then script, and we're going to have it extend an object reference. That part's not important right now for the purposes of this. And you want properties, we'll get into that in a different uh, video. It's not important for this one. So if we edit the source, that's what it looks like. Cool. So we get into good habits, we are going to switch gears, this is why I said have the source uh, folder open. And if you notice, the world script is now here. So we go and edit with Notepad++. As a note before we get started, if you're an XP user you might have to open up, open it with Notepad++ instead. I'm not sure. I haven't used Windows XP, but I know there's a few of you out there. And now, uh, what event would help us out? Oh. And then if you notice, it lists the events that you can do. Ah, eh, we don't want any of those events because we're not going to go there. Let's see if form script gives us better options. It does not. So, I know this event vent from heart, so we're going to look it up real quick on a net, and it's a member of any script, and this is basically an event that always calls the first, the very first time the script is run the for whatever save game you're loading up, or a new game. So cool. Let's do it. Event on a net. 
See, it did, it did parentheses completion here for us. It's part of why I like it does syntax highlighting. It gives you suggestions on what you're typing. It's really helpful in that way. And now we want to have... Oh, let's get into this habit before... Comments. I'm going to show you my style. You can have, develop your own style. Um, just for consistency. There's no inputs there. That's what that means. That means, oh hey, this event doesn't receive anything. It can run regardless of if there's another character involved, yada yada yada. Don't worry too much about that right now. And then, event runs at the beginning of your saved game. Purpose is to display a message box saying hello world. Okay. And now let's do a comment within here just to get into that habit. Display hello world. Uh, so let's go back to the creation kit wiki again. Um, debug. This is something that's really important to get used to. It helps you debug um, various parts of your mod. Uh, and what would be helpful here? Message box. Okay, let's look at message box. Text that should be displayed in the message box. And voila, there's an actual example there. But we're going to code it up ourselves. So, type in debug message box, and then hello world. And that is all you need to do in, in here. So you click the save button like I just did, and you should be good to go to go back to here. Now right click, I'm going to do something real quick. just to annoy the wiki, or annoy Skyrim's... Aha! We have an error. So, it can't read what's there. So all we do is just give it a string, which... it's anything in quotations. I will explain in a different episode what strings are and such. Don't worry about that part at the moment. So here we go. We have Hello World, a working example. We forgot to close this, so close it out without making any changes. Here, see, our changes are made now. Save. What you, The reason why you have to open it in the creation kit like this is because, oh hey, you saved it, but it doesn't compile. Part of the in-game, uh, not in-game, in-creation kit editor is a compiler, so it compiles your script as well as saving the script. So now we have a copy that the game can read and be like, oh hey, it, you want to do things now. And we are going to launch uh, Skyrim in a moment. I will be back after that. Alright, so let's just load up my save game real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because of another mod I'm making, or I made. Load up the game. Loading, 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 loading. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Ha ha! Hello world. And that is it. That should be it for hello world. Um, if you have any questions about this episode, contact me. Here's the contact page that I used in the other video, and future videos will have this as well. Um, I will also have links in the description of the video. Um, 